Thanks, Chair. Senator Ludlam. Thank you. Um, thanks, folks, for coming in. And it's good to see a bit of focus back on cities at a Commonwealth level. Um, I might just follow on from where Senator Back was. So we've spoken a bit about um, meetings with the um, Capital City Lord Mayor Council last week, as did we. They, with the exception of Brisbane and Darwin, I guess, tend to speak for the urban core. They speak for the CBDs in the immediate periphery. Um, have there been any meetings with the National Growth Areas Alliance, for example, who represent the very fast growing peripheral areas of our cities? Uh, I'm not aware of uh, meetings that have happened so far with the National Growth Areas Alliance, but certainly Ruth Spillman has been in contact with me, Senator, and I have a relationship with her right. from previous work, and so we'll be meeting with them in the near future. That's excellent. Uh, we found them really good value. They do good policy work, and they, I guess they, they speak for the, the peripheral areas of cities Great. where very fast growing populations, but where services and you know, job creation have lagged behind. Lucky, yeah. um, one area, I guess, in which debates around climate change have focused very heavily in this country has been around mitigation and energy transformation, all that side. Adaptation appears to have lacked behind. Will you guys have a role in any kind of systematic way on dealing with adaptation as it relates to cities? Uh, we get, yes, uh, Senator. Uh, I mean, we have, uh, the Minister has responsibility for adaptation policy and that's certainly within our outcomes okay. anyway. Uh, but, uh, Adaptation will be an element of the city's discussion. What, what can we expect as an output? Can well, we expect I, I, I think we're just going through the we're going through that discussion element yeah. now. Early days. Senator, so it's, 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 a bit of, yeah, it's, it's early days, Senator. But, but um, clearly, the, the resilience of cities in a, in a climate change affected future environment um, is is one of the critical issues for us, and relates to those all of those pillars that we talked about: planning, long-term integrated planning. Uh, the nature of infrastructure and um, uh, the, the livability and greening our cities. All right. Um, it's good. It's good to hear this language back at a Commonwealth level. That's a relief. Um, now, you were starting with something of a blank slate, and I don't know whether one of you gentlemen wants to take this on or whether Senator Birmingham wants to take <coughs> it on, because it, I guess it's a political question. Under the previous government, we had the establishment of $500 million for national innovation hubs. They've been knocked out. The major cities unit was axed. The national urban policy was axed. The suburban jobs program was not extended. The state of our cities report was discontinued. Uh, we saw the cancellation of funding for urban public transport projects. So you're, you're starting from a bit of a scorched earth. It hasn't been a good two years in city policy from a Commonwealth level. What are you hoping to build in the ruins of what was left from the former Prime Minister? I think, um, Go on, Senator, Senator Ludlam, I, uh, I, I won't take the opportunity to try to uh, uh, dispel uh, all of the um, uh, myths perhaps contained in some of your uh, question there. I'd point out the fact that the government is moving quite quickly, that, uh, that of course um, you made reference to public transport infrastructure uh, uh, in, your, uh, in your comments there, and as is well known, now the government's already made a commitment to uh, uh, to fund the light rail project at the Gold Coast, a, a demonstration of the fact that infrastructure projects will be considered uh, on their merits and against the return on investment, uh, uh, regardless of the mode of transport that is being supported. That was a good um, decision, Senator Birmingham. Um, thank you. Happy uh, to acknowledge it. And uh, uh, and of course, in this space, though, um, you know, what we will see. Uh, is a commitment from the government to developing sound policies that will, as we've explored with other senators, uh, be whole of government uh, uh, in their nature. So they won't always be uh, policies or programs or inputs that are delivered by this department, but of course will be a case that this department uh, will be playing a role in uh, informing and working with <coughs> other departments and Minister Briggs and Minister Hunt with other ministers uh, in, the, uh, in the city's space. Just, um, Senator Birmingham, if you could, I listed, uh, you, you're quite right about the Gold Coast Light Rail project. I listed five specific initiatives that had been chopped. <coughs> what I'm trying to do, I guess, is get a sense of whether there's a lot of quite good work. It wasn't really rolled out at scale, but there was good work done under the previous government, which some of the officers at the table <coughs> be very familiar with. Will any of those be, like you can work through each of them if you like, will any of those be continued or put, put back on their feet again so we're not starting from scratch? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure uh, that uh, the government, uh, as we always seek to do, will learn from what has been done before 
and that that will inform whatever policy steps we take in the future. Okay. So will we get? I might just chip through them really quickly and get your get your take on it. Whoever wants to take it on. State of the cities report. Can we get them back? to an annual document? So the, the State of Australian Cities was produced this year covering 14-15, I think. Um, yep. Senator, and this, the, as uh, the Secretary said earlier, we expect that document to be completed uh, again next year. Okay, that's good. Suburban jobs program, small but very, very interesting, about yeah. redistributing employment hubs back out into the suburbs. Yeah, suburban jobs program was, it, it finished as scheduled. It was a terminating program. It was a, a, a one-off. Um, uh, what, we, what's the we point not of doing pilots if there's no intention of continuing them and, and making the most of what you learned? That, that might be a question for the previous government on that program, yeah. Senator Ludlam, but uh, given it was established as a terminating program with no future funding profile, but uh, uh, look, I'm aware of the program. In fact, uh, uh, I think I um, opened one of the facilities under the program just, uh, just a few weeks ago, um, uh, which I am sure Minister Briggs uh, would be looking at that and others to see um, how they could shape or inform mm. broader government programs. Because I think your point okay. uh, is, a, is a fair one sometimes in relation to pilot programs, that uh, um, you know, what is the future of them? Well, uh, in an area like that where the government, of course, has a, a very strong focus on um, industry growth centres on, on, and on developing new industry opportunities across the economy. and and on addressing, of course, employment challenges, particularly in areas of, uh, uh, of sustained employment difficulty, uh, we will want to see what works out of programs like that and see how they can be applied at broader scale uh, across programs of, uh, of more national reach. Mm. That, that was one I would have put in a good word for. I think the, mm. the direction was very smart, but it was never really trialled at, at a large scale. So, so I, I would just add too, Senator, that um, one of the key personnel who, who worked on that program within the department is now within the city's task force. And Great. Lady. Is it anticipated, and apologies if I'm traversing over areas that Senator Wong already covered, is it anticipated that this task force will play a similar role to the, that that the major cities unit played, or is it really different in remit? Uh, I, I think it's I think it's too early to say that the major cities unit was um, it had a similar, in some ways, uh, coordinating function within the infrastructure department uh, under the government of that day, uh, Senator. We will have a, a similar role as we've talked about already. Um, it's it's too early to say whether we'll play exactly the same role as, okay. as they will. I've just got two more, if that's all right, Chair. I don't know. Senator Zanna Fong's being very patient. I won't be. Too much longer. Um, one area of work that was underway and quite a bit of really good thinking and policy work had been done, but we never saw anything funded as, as a result, was a national cycling strategy and an active transport strategy. So non-motorised forms of transport, which can obviously play a massive role in, in greening cities, if that is indeed your, your ambition. Um, will those areas of work be revived and might we actually finally see some sustained Commonwealth funding in that area? Well, that, that function uh, we're very well, well aware of, Senator, uh, and some of the people who have come in from the Department of Infrastructure carry uh, corporate memory on those, those issues. Right. Um, whether it features in, in the government's, actively in the government's uh, agenda for cities is yet to be determined. All right. Well, I'll, I'll chuck it there on your agenda if you like. And just finally, from me, um, Uh, I think I'll leave it there and uh, look forward to seeing some, some outcomes. Oh, sorry, that's, I just remembered what it was. It might already have been covered, so if it's in the transcript, I'll let it go. But what will your relationship be with Infrastructure Australia? And this might be where Senator Wong and Senator Singh yeah. were before. It's like this area of work sounds extremely promising. If over in infrastructure they're still busy funding <coughs> hideous urban freeway projects, um, It'll all have been a bit of a waste of time. So, what's your institutional crossover with IA <coughs> going to be? There's no crossover with IA no, uh, in that sense. No so formal yeah. crossover, Senator. But as we indicated before, we'll have close collaboration with uh, colleagues in infrastructure, uh, um, in the Department of Infrastructure, and also with Infrastructure Australia. They're producing; uh, they've already produced an audit uh, of um, national infrastructure gaps, and I think they're producing a plan at the end of this year. 
and but we'll engage off the back of that. Is there a risk that this work, which sounds very promising and all the green language is being used and it genuinely sounds worth investing in, if there's, what, what are the risks that you're proceeding off in this direction and Infrastructure Australia and the, the Infrastructure Department are heading off in quite a different direction? They're proposing to drop a billion dollars on a completely pointless urban freeway in Perth at the moment, which would be completely at odds with everything that we've discussed here this morning. Well, as, How as are they going to be harmonised? As the Secretary indicated before, um, Senator, the decisions about infrastructure are whole of government decisions, so the, the city's agenda doesn't uh, doesn't uh, you know speak for the whole uh, government agenda. There are, there are other matters which are critical as well in transport for the nation. Uh, but nevertheless, we, we think uh, the, the risk you identify is one that we'll, we'll be engaging with uh, pretty closely through the, the collaboration that we have with our partners. But, but se se Senator, I would uh, um, caution against, uh, should we say, going from uh, one extreme uh, to the other. Uh, uh, the government's approach that, uh, that the Prime Minister has been very clear on is that we'll support infrastructure based on the merits of the <coughs> infrastructure, in particular uh, the, uh, the financial merits of that infrastructure, but taking into account all of the productivity and other benefits that, uh, that flow from that. Uh, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want to see uh, your comments stand or at least not be challenged in relation to uh, uh, suggesting somehow that um, all road infrastructure, uh, highways, freeways or the like, uh, were bad things. Uh, there is uh, absolutely a cause and a case for why the government would support infrastructure in that space. And Senator Reynolds probably knows uh, better than I the merits of uh, or otherwise of any particular project in, uh, in your home state. Uh, but uh, um, but it, w it is important to put on the record that uh, um, you know, roads still have their place alongside rail alongside other forms of public transport, alongside ports and other yeah. uh, infrastructure uh, which will <coughs> compete for the finite dollars that exist. All right. Senator London, I'll just point out we now have now just gone over time. I'll Senator Xenophon's got your questions as well. Patience.